Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another great video for you guys. So we're going to be playing alongside Jack Chepo and OG. You guys know them both very well and obviously there was a fat, fat balance update this morning. So a lot of brothers got changed. Uh, Gene got the nerf, Carl got a nerf, Rosa got a nerf, BB got kind of like a buff and a nerf, but Penny, Penny got the most subtle overpowered nerf I've ever seen before she is so broken in siege now it's unreal her turret does so much work both on defense on offense if, if her mortar wasn't already the most op thing about her it's like the most op thing in the game now just a little computerized mortar so with that being said uh we're gonna hop into some games over here on siege I'm pretty likely we're going to win them all just because we're playing with OG and Chapel. I won't even have to try that much since it's on ladder. But I can show you guys what's overpowered with Penny. Look at, look at this toxicity by OG. Absolute toxicity. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what's overpowered with Penny. And yeah, let's hop into it. Okay, so we got insta queued straight away. And we're going to be facing a Leon, a Gene, and, uh, and a Dynamite. Now, I know all three of these players are not bad. They're pretty good, actually, but... I think we are a little bit too overpowered. So it's gonna be a little bit tough to lane against the Dynamax. I'm just gonna to go towards the middle over here. There's not much that a Penny can do to a Dynamax. Not a very good matchup at all. So Gene, obviously who got a nerf is just gonna, or not obviously, sorry. Gene who got a nerf is going to miss the pull. Oh, uh, we got that Leon over here. Just gonna do our job, collect these gems. Uh, we're gonna be able to tap that Dynamax up. OG out a little bit, who has taken that right lane. We're gonna be able to finish off Moonlight. And now we got the Epic Mortar. Okay, so here we go. So Jack's probably, I don't even know what Jack's doing right now. He's just playing around with his super. So let's see if we can get that. Okay, we don't wanna get pulled over there. We might have actually gotten pulled if that was a couple hours ago, but because of that nerf, we didn't get pulled at all. Now watch this. Watch how broken this is. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Oh, we're not even gonna be able to see what it does. Wow, okay, so we, we missed it do 9% as well as hit three people. I'm able to see that because of my charge. But yeah, let's continue on. Hopefully I can show you guys that next time. Like, it, it is so insanely broken. It is, it's just not even fair. So you guys can see OG's put, applying a good amount of pressure over there. We're going to be able to tap the Dynamite and the Leon. I'm just going to throw this one over here. I don't really care if they're able to explode it easily just because like, it doesn't matter now. I, I kind of want them to explode it now. I almost have my super already. The, obviously the mortar is doing its thing. A little bit of a lag spike. Somehow we stayed alive over there. And the mortar is just continuously tapping. The mortar don't miss. So Chepo, I think Chepo wants me to use my super. I don't, I don't know what he's trying to say. But anyways, I'm just going to wait until I have a little bit more health. Until I have like 4k. And there we go. So I'm just going to run in here. I'm going to put that down. We're going to die. But again, it's gonna do, okay, it's gonna do 8%. I killed a gene and I hit another, I hit four targets this time after it exploded. Like it, it is so ridiculously good. So I think we're gonna be able to finish it on this bush over here. Uh, I don't see a way that they're gonna defend this, but I actually don't know how much the bot has. Okay, yeah, we, we got this. This is gonna be a GG. Uh, GG's to the guys that we're facing, but we were a little bit too much for them. Uh, we didn't, I didn't get to show you guys just like the mo the most OP thing about about the penny. Like I didn't play that great at all. I didn't get any like super super overpowered turrets, and we still got the star while playing with two great players playing on two great brawlers. So that just shows you guys how broken Penny truly is. So let's hop into the second game, and hopefully I can show you, give you guys a really good demonstration about how broken she is. Okay, so here we go into the second game, and we're gonna be facing Iburn Toast. If you guys don't know who Iburn Toast is. He got a 1k mic months ago. He's super, super good. So this is obviously going to be a challenge. Uh, I don't know where he is, though. There he is. All right, so we're able to do a lot of damage to that Carl and to the Dynamite. Of course, we're going to get this pinch over here with OG. Uh, the Carl also got a nerf. A lot of the overpowered brawlers got a nerf. So that's really good by Supercell. They actually got that one out of the way. Uh, because usually they kind of like beat around the bush when it comes to nerfs. So super, super good by them. I think right now I can show you guys how overpowered this penny is about to be. Okay, so just, just watch this turret now. Watch what it's about to do. It just completely goes for it. That, that wasn't even a real good example. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. because It, it also went for the frank. But I still was able to do 17% to the Ike. Without doing anything. By just throwing a turret at it. 
letting it explode. So let's see if we can get our turret again over here. We're gonna support this bot, obviously. Why is it going for me? Like the, the Ike was, or the robot was so much deeper into it than I was. So we're just gonna throw this in here. Hopefully we don't die to Iber and Toast. And hopefully that mortar just goes off. So I can see the mortar hasn't hit anybody yet. I'm just going to watch this safe because it's probably going to do some work. Okay, it did like 9% when it exploded, which is pretty good. So we got the friend coming out over here. This ball is going to bounce back, maybe hit dynamite. Okay, I, I love watching BB Super. It's super, super funny. Uh, but we are going to be able to take out that Frank. I think we will be able to end it just by throwing penny turrets into their uh, into their spawn, which is pretty funny. Anyways, that Frank is going to spawn over there. We kind of have to get out of the way of the Frank. I should see if we can kill the Frank doing this. Alright, let's see how much that hits the Frank. Oh, it only hit- it didn't hit the Frank at all. But I basically had my super again, and it did another 8% to the- to the Ike, so... Definitely worth it. It does look like we're gonna be able to end them this push, unfortunately, for them. Okay, I think we're actually gonna get a really good demonstration over here. Let's see what this does. Okay, watch this. It just completely goes through the safe. It did like another 13% and we're gonna be able to take it out. So I still, you guys still didn't get to see like the craziest thing. And if we don't get it down at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. But from like some Twitter post or something, gave credits to someone. But anyways, it's just, she's so unbelievably overpowered in Siege. It is so ridiculous. So let's hop into the third game. Hopefully we can still dominate or sorry. Hopefully that mortar can still dominate. And let's see what we can do. Okay, so here we go into our third game. And we're facing a pretty good team over here. We got the double thrower and Penny. So let's see they're completely out here to play Penny and counter Penny. And okay, so they're, they're kind of doubling up that left lane over here. So we got Jack on the left as well. We also got that double lane. So Jack's going to do a good job over there. We're going to be able to take out this Dynamite. And we're super close. We're just going to like spam that auto aim button over there. Uh... Okay, I was hoping that Barley would walk back and be able to hit Penny with the coin bounce. Good plays over there by OG. Good shot by that Dynamite over there. Chapel's going to be able to take him out. So we're looking good so far. I'm considering just throwing this in there. I think I'm going to. I might be taking out. Okay, I won't be. Let's see how much damage it does. Okay, so it did about... I think it was like 15%, 13 something like that. I'm not sure. I didn't see... It exactly what the number was to start off. Oh, I went back into the shot, that's terrible. Okay, so we're gonna be going down for the first push. We are on Brawl TV, that's pretty epic. Anyways, we're gonna move up. We're probably gonna be able to do a good amount of, with this push. We don't need that much time since we have the Penny and the, uh, the Dynamite, which does just a ton of damage. So we're gonna see if we can save OG over here. We are able to grab that kill. We're just going to throw this in here. Let's see what it does. I'm still... Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. I have no clue how much that did. But I hope you guys saw. That is what I was looking for. There we go. Okay, so it did like 25%, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. It does an insane, insane amount of damage. Like, you, I, like if you do it properly, I still have to train myself to be able to get that every time. But once I learn, if you if you can hit that consistently, then I don't even think you need a siege bot for the entirety of the game, to be honest. So we're just gonna throw this right back over here. Let's see if it does the same thing. The Chepo's gonna go in. I don't even think it's gonna matter because our it's just gonna attack the safe anyways. The safe's gonna be low. And that is going to end it. Holy, that was crazy. Wow, it, it's just so overpowered. Uh, I know I'm just restating what I've said a bunch of times, but it is just, it is stupid good. It is dumb good. It's absolutely insane. Let's hop into this fourth and final game, and let's see if we can go 4 no on the video. Okay, so here we go into our fourth and final game. And I saw Frank, I saw Barley, and I think I saw Rico. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, okay, so let's think OG's gonna be the mid, so I guess I'll just lane. Yeah, okay, so I got the three right. It's gonna be a little bit tough to lane against the Frank with the Penny, but let's see if we can make do. Okay, so I should hit both those shots over there. That's pretty bad. Uh, we're definitely gonna need a pinch, just because we don't... We have to hit this guy like seven times or something. He needs to hit us like three times. So we got a good pinch over there, so it knocked it down to us being only having to hit him like five times, so... It's gonna make it simple enough for us to win lane. Chepel's just gonna come in and get that final hit off on the Frank. 
just gonna throw this into the barley's face because why not? See if it does some work. Okay, hit the safe twice. And it hit one other person. So I am gonna like it's just a good exchange. If you're able to hit your shots with the penny after the after the fact that you're like not really wasting, but get a, getting rid of your super, then you're actually doing a lot of good work. So you're doing damage to players, you're doing you're wasting their shots, and you're doing a ton of damage as well to the Ike. So basically I'm just gonna throw that over there. Um, they're probably going to be able to take it out, but for now, just going to be able to shoot towards the, uh, the safe. I mean, the Ike, sorry. It's going to explode, and it's going to do 8%, as well as do a ton of damage, I think. Just going to throw this right at the Rico. Again, it, it's just so overpowered, so Frank's probably going to try and take it out. Let's see what it does to the Frank. Okay, so it all chased after the Frank, but the Frank did move, so it wasn't able to connect. So as you guys can see, like the Frank moves, so it's obviously going to be way better against stationary objects. So now that I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking heist, it, it could be pretty broken in heist. Like seriously broken. So now I'm thinking about this, I can't wait to test this out in heist. But anyways, we got the lead over here. We're doing a ton of good work. Uh, looks like it's game over, so I'm just going to throw this onto the Ike over here. See what it does. Uh, okay, so, so like it's hitting the Frank on the other side of the map. That's absurd. Uh, again, it's doing 8%, so it seems like 8% is kind of like the standard for it. But we're just going to just shoot this safe, or the Ike, I don't know, I keep calling it a safe. And that is going to be the end of the games and the end of the video. Now, I'm going to put the comment down below for the five people that won my giveaway. I apologize that it's taken a bit of a while, but I had to cover it. I had to get to it. I, had to, I, had to, I just had a ton of things, so I'm super sorry. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and definitely start using Penny in every and all siege maps because clearly she is crazy broken. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for me today. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.